Now, just a reminder of what Kotan means. Kotan means uh, one over tan uh, A. And as somebody rightfully reminded me on page 13 of your notes, I think it means uh, cos uh, alpha over sine alpha. For me, a bit. I'm happy that I didn't write that in. Now, uh, so here we go. We're going to uh, do this, okay? And it wants me to prove that omega is g over h co t. All right? So I'm just going to drag this to my own. I'm going to bring this to its own page here. Okay? I'm going to make two of them because we could do two of them. Now, okay, here's two of them here. All right, guys, what am I trying to prove again? Omega is, what's it, G over H, root G over H, is it? Cotan alpha, is that it? No, these are on the right page now. Root G over H, cotan alpha. Okay, done. Here we go. Now, what type of question is this? Horizontal circle. It's undergoing a horizontal circle. Therefore, what are the two, uh, what's at play here? Can anybody tell me? Forces up versus forces down. Is that all right? Now, it's just currently mg going downwards, isn't it? But what goes upwards to stop it falling? Well, R goes diagonally upwards, yeah? But we can work with that. So, what we can say here is that uh, if I was to rub that circle out a little bit and try and actually just enhance this image a bit more, okay, I'm just going to make it larger and larger. I'm just going to dwarf this one corner. Here's what I'm going to do I'm going to put it like that. And what angle is this, do we think? That's 90 minus alpha, isn't it? Because that's a right angle triangle. What does that make this angle here? It makes it alpha. Now I can work with this. This is R. So what do I have here? R cos A and R sine A. Is that okay with you guys? R cos A and R sine A. Now we're going to do up versus down. So what am I saying is going up again, guys? Uh, mg is going down and up is r sine a. Are you okay with that? Okay. Uh, I'm not taking friction into the account yet. Why not? It only states friction happens in the second part of the question. It doesn't mention it in the first part of the question, so I'm not worried about friction currently. Is that okay with you guys? Now, Let's uh, look at the next one then. If it's moving around in a circle, which part aims towards the center of the circle? Which part's aiming inwards? Yeah. So R cos A is what? What do we think? Huh? R cos A is M R omega. Squared. It's the only force aiming into the center of your thin and circle. You feel like that? Now, which... I have an idea here. I, I'm going to want to make cotan sooner or later. I'm like, did everybody see cotan? And what did I say cotan was earlier? Cotan is cos A divided by... I have an idea. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to reverse the order of this one, and I'm going to call it R sine alpha equals mg. What happens when I divide them out? What disappears? The capital R disappears. What appears here? Cotan alpha. Pretty happy about that. That's one of them. The M's disappear. Which letter doesn't belong in my answer? R. R doesn't belong in my answer. I need a way to get rid of R. Here's what I'm thinking. Not that R, the, the other R. And here's what I'm thinking. Whatever I agree, this is small R. Whatever I agree, this is small H. 
Would everybody agree that tan alpha is r over h? R therefore is h tan alpha. So what can I replace r with then? Anybody? H tan alpha omega squared over g cotan alpha. Now look what happens here. See this tan alpha? What happens when I bring it downwards? It goes down here, doesn't it? And what is 1 over tan alpha? It's another cotan alpha. How many of them do I have now? How many of them do I have? Squared, yeah? Cot squared alpha. Now, we still have h and g, don't we? And omega squared. Now, what are we going to do with the uh, h and the g? Bring them over, and what do we get? g and h. Square root both sides, what happens? Get rid of the squared. Get rid of the squared. Square root that part, and you're done. If the inside of the surface kept of the cone is rough, remember, friction equals mu r. And the semi and alpha is 30 degrees. Find in terms of u, g, and h, what do I look at there? No r value. In sort form, write an expression for omega squared if the particle is on the point of slipping downwards. If it's on the way, if, if it's on the point of slipping downwards, what can I say about friction? Friction must be acting upwards. And what is friction again? Friction is mu r. Agreed? Now, let's look at this. I think we can get an alternate angle here, can't we? Can we? Uh, Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, I think we have it. All right, can everybody see that that's 30? Why? Why is that 30? Why is that 150? Huh? Ah, obviously, yeah, yeah, no hassle. Now, uh, and then, that's 30, is it? Because it's vertically opposite. You happy enough with that? Or makes 180. So, what I'm saying about the friction is it's going in this direction here. Uh, I really messed that up. Okay, so friction is going this way here. And we just agreed that it's 30 degrees. And that's mu r. So, this will be mu r. What do you reckon? Sine 30 going to the left and mu r cos 30 going upwards great mu r cos 30 sine 30 to the left and mu r cos cos 30 not cos theta cos 30 upwards i get this go back to your equation in the last one down versus up well there's another up and down isn't there what's the other up mu r cos 30. And didn't we just claim that alpha was 30, didn't we? So what can I turn that a into? And turn that into 30. That's my up versus down, my up versus down equation. Now, see the r cos alpha? It's clearly going right into the center of the circle. But what do we say about the friction? It's aiming away from the center of the circle. So what does that mean? Anybody? Minus mu r sine 30. Now, do you see the marking scheme for this? It's obvious. As in, they kept it all as alpha. They didn't introduce any 30s. And it was just so grim. 
Okay. Ready for this? Okay. So let's start off with the uh, the blue equation. What are we reckon of mg is what? What's sign 30? All right, it's a half high. Good, good, good answer, yeah. And then next one, cos 30. Root 3 over 2. Mu R, yeah. Uh, what's the next one then? M R omega squared, yeah. And what do we say here? R cos 30 as well. Anybody? Root 3 over 2 R, yeah. And then R sine, so mu R sine 30. Minus a half mu r, yeah? Now, what does it want from me in this question? It wants me to get omega on its own, does it? It wants me to get omega squared on its own. So here's what I'm thinking. See the two blue equations? I'm going to put one of them underneath the other one. Like so. And I'm going to divide them both by each other. So what's m r omega squared divided by m g? Anybody? What do we reckon? R omega squared all over g. Okay. And the question says something about no r's, is it? I'm not allowed r. I have to use h, don't I? Agreed. I'll figure that out in a minute. Okay. No r's. Have to use h. Now what else is there? Will all the R's cancel? Because it's the same top and bottom. So I have a root 3 over 2 minus a half mu. Uh, no, because all of them don't have a mu. And the mu isn't being multiplied. Okay. First thing I'm going to need to do is get rid of that R. Any suggestions? Who said that earlier? R as well? H tan alpha? Yeah. And what is tan alpha at the moment? Tan 30. What is tan 30? H over root 3. It's 1 over root 3. So what I can change this to is I can change that to H all over root 3. Is that right? No. Uh, before I do anything else, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give these a common denominator, am I? So it's root 3 minus 1 mu all over 2. And what's the bottom one? It's 1 plus root 3 mu all over 2. But when you divide by a fraction, what can you do? You can bring it to the top and flip it. So here's what I'm going to do. What do you reckon now, guys? What do you think? The two's cancel, don't they? And what's that leave me with? That leaves me with? 1 plus root 3 u. Oh, those dots. Sorry. 1 plus root 3 u, yeah? And I'm still stuck over this side with I'm still stuck with h omega squared over root 3g. Now here's what we're going to do. See the root 3? What do you think I'm going to do with that? Multiply it up here. And what does that turn that into? Okay. Bring the h underneath. Oh, sorry. And leave the, uh, leave the 1 plus root 3 you here and then bring the g to the top bring the h to the bottom and believe it or not this is your answer 